Wojciech Szczęsny was one of the best goalkeepers in the world. He was a fantastic shot stopper, was good with the ball and also had some talent for singing. But what most people know him for is being amazing in saving penalties. He saved two of them in the 2022 World Cup, including one from Lionel Messi. But why do I keep saying he was? Wojciech recently retired from football altogether to take care of his family. But I decided he's not doing that. I called Wojciech and said, you're going back to the past. You're 16 and starting out in football all over again. And that's what I did. Wojciech is back in his first senior club, Legia Warsaw. But didn't he move to Arsenal at the age of 16? Don't worry, I arranged that too. With all that covered, it's time to move into the future and see if Wojciech can become a world-class keeper again. Of course, we can't just throw a world-class 16-year-old chance into the database. I reduced his current ability to 90 out of 200. He has 156 in FN24 and raised his potential ability to 175, just around his real-life prime. He is joining Arsenal in the near future. But how is he going to do in his only Legia season? Wojciech only played in the reserve team, but got a debut in the Polish Cup against Stal Salva Wola. In the cup itself, Legia lost in penalties to Śląsk Grodzow in the third round, but Wojciech was on the bench, so that's all they've got from him. In his first season with the Gunners, Szczęsny went from zero games in Legia to four in the Premier League and one more in the Champions League, probably because Arsenal finished eighth in the Premier League, but at least got to the Champions League quarterfinals. He mainly played in the U21 squad this season, where Arsenal finished 13th, but this season brought in one more milestone a national team debut in a friendly against Canada. With all the good momentum caught up, Anatoly Trubin showed up, stole Ramsdale's place between the sticks and Wojciech did not play at all in the first team, missing out on 4th place in the Premier League and the Europa League final. He's only played in the U21s, a season to skip pretty much, outside 3 more caps for Poland, only in friendlies though. Wojciech was a number 2 keeper for Poland in the World Cup, but did not play a single minute. He added 3 more friendlies for Poland in season 4. In the club, Wojciech only got one first team game in the Carabao Cup and one FA Cup game against Chesterfield. He spent the rest of the year in the U21s. Also, forgot to mention, Arsenal won the FA Cup and also got 6 in the league and semi-finals of the Champions League. Season 5 brought in 0 club games for Wojciech. Good news though, Arsenal won the Europa League, was 4th in the Premier League and Szczęsny is probably a number 1 goalkeeper for Poland now, which he guided to Euro 2028, in which Ukraine and Poland went ahead of Spain and Italy in the group stage, but the Poles lost to Turkey in the round of 16. At this point, I think Wojciech needs to move to a new club to ensure he at least gets some game time. You can't keep up for long as the third keeper and in the U21s, when in real life you are already a starting keeper at this age. Oh my days, he stayed! And played nothing! I instantly simulated the next season. And miracles happen actually, you know? Because Wojciech actually played a league game. Actually two. And three in the FA Cup for Arsenal. And finally became at least a number two goalkeeper. But that came with a cost of not qualifying for the World Cup because Ukraine decided to cook quite massively. In Season 8, Wojciech started playing more and more, with 6 Premier League games and a couple Cup games. The fact Aaron Ramsdale requested a transfer probably helps. Arsenal also won Carabao Cup twice in a row, forgot to mention Season 7 trophy, as well as became Premier League runners-up twice in a row. Season 9 gave a huge twist for Wojciech and his teams. He is on the wish list of Liverpool and Napoli. He also became a first goalkeeper for real for Poland and got past the group stage in the Euro 2032 against Croatia, Scotland and Albania. In the round of 16, the Poles knocked out Greece with a 2 0 result, then took a famous win over Germany in the quarters, but got knocked out by France in the semi finals, who lost to Austria in penalties in the Euro 2032 final. On the club level, Arsenal finished fourth in the league and got to the Champions League semi final. Wojciech was again a number two keeper and, of course, moved nowhere. The consequence? Almost no game time. At least he won the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. But there will be a change to Wojciech's situation. Because he's finally done it. He changed teams and joined Paris Saint-Germain. How did his first season go there? Well, he's finally a first choice goalkeeper. Which is confirmed by the numbers. Not only that, Wojciech helped PSG win over Monaco by only one point in Ligue 1 and three ahead of Stade Rennes in third. PSG also won the French Cup, but the most interesting thing happened in the Champions League. The French team won the league stage, winning all games but one. They then went past AC Milan in the round of 16 and completed the quest of defeating Milan sides by beating Inter in the quarters. Wojciech then took revenge on Arsenal for denying him a real chance, getting past the Gunners in the penalties, setting up a Champions League final against Manchester City. But there will be no UCL trophy for now, as PSG conceded free against the citizens who took the European crown.
Next season was pretty standard. PSG defended the Ligue 1 title, as Wojciech is probably entering his peak form. Just look at these stats. He's finally getting the game time he deserves. In the Champions League, Paris Saint-Germain got knocked out in the semi-finals this time. Season 13 brought in another Ligue 1 win, as well as a cup to make it a double. But in the competition that matters, Szczesny and his side, including a 37-year-old Mbappe who's never moved, because I did not get the new season's database, went past Inter Milan, Real Madrid and Monaco, but got knocked out by Chelsea, of course on penalties. Also, why did I not say a thing about the World Cup or the Euros? For the first one, Poland did not qualify. And for the latter, they got obliterated in the group stages. Season 14 brought us another league on title and the Champions League quarterfinal. As you already know, Wojciech is a number one keeper and playing almost every game. PSG also took part in the Club World Cup, but got eliminated in the second round. And while PSG went on to another league on title in the season 15, Wojciech Szczęsny wasn't a major part of it. Did he move sides? No, he was injured for half of the season, which allowed this Nugent to step in, and he did surprisingly well. Wojciech Szczęsny missed out on entire Champions League knockouts, in which PSG started by knocking out Anderlecht in the round of 16. Then, they turned things around, thrashing AC Milan in the quarters, and squeezed past Real Madrid to set up another Champions League final, this time against RB Leipzig. And they lost again, with Gomez not having the best of games. Wojciech will also miss the World Cup, to which Poland has finally qualified. And advanced from the group stages, right behind England. The Poles also knocked out Mexico, but lost out to Italy. Such a big chance for Wojciech to be a hero again, and he missed out. He might have only one more chance to do that, if he will have any. And while season 16 was pretty standard, aside from losing to Conn in the French Cup final, the Champions League, with a healthy and ready Wojciech this time, was another great adventure. PSG had a relatively easy route, starting with Benfica in the round of 16, then Chelsea in the quarterfinals, and their surprise package in Ajax in the semis. This gives us a third chance for Le Parisien and Wojciech to win a trophy. And against Tottenham, they must finally take it. There is no way they're actually messing this up now. No way. They actually bottled it. They bottled against the professionals at this. It's just impossible at this point. And I don't think another league on title will save the tears now. Especially since PSG got knocked out in the round of 16. And Poland did not even qualify for the Euros. Wojciech decided he's had enough. If he wants that Champions League trophy, he needs to go to a team that knows exactly how to find their way to the title. That means for 16 million euros, Wojciech found his way into Real Madrid. But here lies the problem. One. Real Madrid only won one Champions League during the save. Two, they can't even win the league, losing the title to Barcelona on... Let me check the rules. Goal scored. And three, Real Madrid lost to eventual winners Newcastle in the Champions League round of 16. I don't expect much from a team whose top scorer is a right back. This is probably why this man joined midway through season 19, in which Real Madrid did not win the title again, also lost the cup final and also lost to Barcelona in the Champions League Knockout playoffs. Just to clarify, in all of that mess that Real is now, at least Wojciech is playing regularly. Unlike in Poland. Why? Because the national team did not qualify for the World Cup. Real Madrid met Valencia again in Copa del Rey final in season 20. And lost the cup again. But things went better in the league, because they won for the first time with Wojciech between the sticks. Even if the Champions League campaign ended with a round of 16, it was an uphill trajectory for Los Blancos, who went on to claim a La Liga title in Wojciech's final season in his career, as well as make it a double with the Copa del Rey trophy. The Champions League, unfortunately, Szczesny will never win that trophy, at least as a player, as Real lost to Manchester United of all teams. With that season wrapped up, Wojciech called it a day, and decided to retire and become a goalkeeping coach. Despite a troubled start and being a backup keeper at best in Arsenal, he still found his way to the top of the footballing world, regularly playing for two of the best clubs on the planet. He won multiple trophies and became one of Poland's greatest players of all time, leaving his mark on the sport. Even if he did not win that mighty UCL, he still can be proud of his achievements. But Wojciech's retirement date is set to July, and it's the year 2044. This means he has one more chance to cement his legacy a bit more with Poland in the Euros. And lost all of the games in the group stage. That rounds up, after all, an incredible career. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I will be very grateful for that. And I wonder, if the greatest Polish coach, Kazimierz Górski, was in charge of the national team, would they be able to win the Euro 2032? We will not know. But I still put Kazimierz into football manager and played out his managerial career. If you want to know how it went, that video is available to you right now.